guys, this is Tash. How are you? I'm really good. Um, I'm home from work again today um, because I'm on training again all week. My training actually starts in about an hour, so I've got a quick little time to make a video. Um, I wanted to show you my 1-2-3 stitch order that came. Wow, you can actually see it there on the table. Um, my 1-2-3 stitch order came. I had a finish. Actually, it's an FFO. Uh, I've got a little bit of progress and yeah, so let's get to it. First of all, First of all, I'm going to go over some comments I got from last week's video. Because uh, a couple of people had questions that I wanted to answer. So, uh, Joan Clark asked what is the frame I'm using for my Firefly Fairies. Uh, it looks like this. I don't know what's the best way to show you. So this can spin like, you know, turn around like that. This can obviously go up and down here like this. It's very stiff. Um, and these bits here can slide in and out, but I can't really show you that very well at the moment because there's a big frame on it. Um, oh, they're actually... I thought I was gonna say I'm sorry, I can't tell you what it is, but I can. It's Kate's Creations. Uh, hope you can see that. Nope. There you go. Kate's Creations. I think it says Texas. I don't know what like model it is, but yeah, I hope this helps you, Joan. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty good. The problem I have with this is actually the scroll bars just don't get tight enough for me. Because if you can see that, I'm hardly pressing and it's moving so much. I really hate that. I like drum tight tension, which is why I prefer like the Q-snaps. Um, yeah, so that's the frame. Thank you for the question, Joan. Um, I, was, I was talking about uh, dyeing fabric. And Michelle Williams asked if you can dye it with beet ju beetroot juice or beet juice if you're American. Uh, and the answer is yes. I actually saw a video where someone did that. They use green tea to make it a champagne color. They use red wine. They use beet juice. You can use avocado skins and boil that in water and it makes like a green dye. Um, and after I spoke to you guys last week, I actually did another experiment. This was coffee dye. And I tried so hard to make this dark, like as dark as possible. Um, and maybe it's because I was using instant coffee. This was as good as I could get. But if you compare it to the tea, see the tea is very orange and the coffee is a really nice uh, creamy brown colour. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, I will actually use this for something and I'll do this again because I really like it. Because you think how much you pay for um, those hand dyed, you know, lakeside linens or something, the natural colours. This is a really nice. Um, if I toned down the tea, I think I would actually really like the tea colour as well. So, this is coffee. Yes, Michelle, you can use beet juice. I would like to do more of those experiments, but I will one day. Not today. <laughs> um, what's next? Oh, there's one more question. Oh, Tessa Carmine? 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 Um, she asked how a round robin works, because she didn't really understand. Um, and that's cool, because I didn't understand it first either. Um, so each person starts a piece, a cross stitch piece, and depending on how many people there are in the round robin, for example, in my round robin there's three, so we each chose a piece with three parts in it. So I stitch the first part on my round robin, and I send it to the next person, which is Coral. And then Coral will stitch her part on my round robin. And at the same time, I'm receiving Stella's, so we, all, we each send in a triangle. So every month I receive one from Stella, and I send one to Coral, and I stitch on whichever piece I get. And it scales up to however many people you have on your round robin. And by the end of, you know, if there's three people, it takes three months. If there's eight people, it takes eight months. By the end of the eight months, you get your round robin back, and all the parts are done, and it's been stitched on by all the people it's been sent around to. Uh, so that's a round robin. And it's really fun, and it's really nice, and you chat a lot to the people who are in it and make friends and stuff, and it's good. Uh, so that's all for the questions. Jilly Pepper, you always leave the cutest comments. Thank you. Um, I haven't liked and written back to people at the moment because I'm, I'm very lazy. Uh, and I've been busy. Work is busy, of course. I'm so happy to be at home this week. I'm trying to get a bit of stitching done. All right. Um... I'm trying to make this video quick because I've got a few other things to do before my class starts in less than an hour. Like eat and put some washing on and log into the class and 
stuff like that. Okay, start wasting time talking about what I want to do and show you things. I'll do whipped first. So I've been working on this, which if you remember is um, the Celtic sampler. This is part one, which is Wallace, and it's by The Needle's Praise. Might look a bit different this time, that's because it's sideways. The block I'm working on, which is this little block down in the corner here, uh, it is actually charted so that the queen stitches are stitched sideways compared to these queen stitches here. Um, and uh, to make it easier for myself, I just thought I'd turn it sideways. So this is another block that's almost full queen stitches. Hope you can see that. Um, this whole thing is so full of queen stitches and I'm sick to death of queen stitches. Um, so for March I'll be doing, I'm doing two blocks each month, for March I'll be doing this one. And I might come up and do this one or one of these two. This one or this one. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about that. Uh, I did all of that in one day and that's a lot of queen stitches. Um, it was a Sunday. It's a lot of queen stitches. I hate queen stitches. Have I mentioned that before? I really don't like queen stitches. So it looks pretty, right? Do you like my needle minder? Yeah. So that is Celtic Sampler by the Needles Praise. The other thing I've been working on is... I always forget to take the chart off this. Firefly Fairies, as you probably just saw. I've been working on the Blue Fairy. Her skirt is definitely coming together. As you can see, there's a lot more blue there. Her skirt comes out to about here, it's huge. And it goes all the way down, probably off the bottom of the page. Um, after I finish the stitching on her, she's got a nice pink bow. And I have to do a bit more metallics in the pink fairy and then all the metallics on and around the blue fairy. And then I can move on to beading. So I'm making progress. It's good, it's good. I like this. It sometimes is um, annoying a little bit to stitch on because you can stitch and stitch and it doesn't look like a lot of progress. Um, and the metallics are so difficult and hard work and not fun. So, um, But what can you do? That's alright. Uh, the other thing, I have an FFO. Uh, I had a, oh yeah, so Stitch Mania's Year of Starts. Um, that's a new start on the 17th of every month. And this month I decided to start this guy. This is a Mill Hill kit. See all the beads? Oh, so pretty. Um, it's a Mill Hill kit. It's the Calavera, which means skull. It's a sugar skull ornament co collection. Um, and this guy is called Azul, which means blue in Spanish. Um, and all the oh, all the other ones are all different colours. I haven't yet glued the felt on the back, but I did just go out this morning and get some felt to glue on the back. And I'm giving this to a friend tomorrow, my friend who is coming around to help me dye my hair. Um, it'll be a different colour next time you see it, or a bunch of different colours, but I won't spoil it yet. So I'll be giving this to my friend tomorrow, um, and I think she'll like it. It's a thank you for dyeing my hair, and also um, it's her birthday coming up, so... I think she'll really like this. She does like sugar skulls. So yeah, that's my FFO. All I have to do is just glue the felt on the back, so to cover up my messy, messy back. Actually, it looks all right from there. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so I really like this. It was so fun to stitch. It's on, the kit comes with perforated paper, 14 count, um, and DMC threads, and it's stitched three strands, uh, which I don't think I've ever actually done before. Um, and it was really, really annoying because you can't do the loop start. Um, yeah, it was really annoying and you can't railroad properly, um, but it turned out okay. The coverage is fantastic, so I might actually, I might have to do three strands again if I'm doing 14 count in the future. Um, the beading took a while for, if you can see the petite beads, the, the smaller teeth here, um, the little green beads, and the purple beads they're all petites and those ones have to be put on with a full cross and a lot of them were too small for the needle and two strands of thread to go through um, twice you know for the second half of the cross as I'm attaching them so that was kind of annoying and I was constantly getting halfway through a stitch stitching it down and then not being able to get the thread through the second time but it was still a really fun stitch I, and the, the finished product is so cute and it only took me about 10 hours exactly of stitching so I just love it I love it 
this, I might buy the whole set and stitch them all again. Look at all the beads! Um, and they give you so many beads in the pack. So there's two bags. This was one bag and all these are left. That's enough to stitch it again, I'm telling you. And then the other bag just had these colours and there's still heaps of those left too. There's enough to stitch it again. It's great. Um, I wouldn't have the star. That's the problem. So I need to buy the kit just to get the star and the paper, the perforated paper. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> okay, now I'm really worried about time so I'm going to rush through. Um, I'm going to show you my stash that I received. Um, I got my order in from 123 Stitch. The reason I made this order is for my mum's birthday, which is on the 27th of March. Um, I ordered her. She had seen this pattern. Wait a minute. She saw this pattern on Instagram and asked me what it was. And she's a quilter. She used to stitch, but now she's a quilter. This is Inspiration by Rosewood Manor. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, yeah, she loves it. I ordered the pattern and the recommended fabric, which is so yellow. This is um, Moonlight by Picture This Plus. Yeah, you can see how yellow that is. It's very yellow. Um, so it needed a massive piece because it was just too big for a fat quarter. So it was this huge piece. It's really pretty. I'm going to have to borrow this chart when she's done a stitch it for myself, I think. It's so pretty. Um, she's a big fan of Rosewood Manor, she's decided. <laughs> um, I wanted to buy her some of the Quaker, um, you know, there's Quaker Diamonds, Quaker Autumn, Quaker Spring, etc. And they all come with Valdani threads, um, but that was a bit out of my budget. So I got her a few other Rosewood Manor charts to go with it. I got this one because she's a quilter. We used to live in, the, in America um, when I was about 13 years old. My dad was in the Navy and... We lived in DC for three years and mum's like, she does like a bit of Americana and that's when she did a lot of cross stitching and, and she'll love this. So it's obviously a quilt square from each state in America. I think she'll really like this. I think there's a possibility I might have bought this for her a few years ago, um, but I'm going to ignore that. I'll just pretend I didn't know. And then um, I have two Rosewood Manor charts in my stash that I'm going to give her because I don't know when I'll ever stitch them. Actually, this one and a forest screw, I do want to stitch quite badly, like in the next year or two probably. Um, but I'll probably buy myself a new copy. Maybe mum and I can do a stitch along. See, this would be quite fun. I could just say to her, look, mum, it's really easy. We'll just do two trees a week or something. That should be enough for her to cope with. So I'll give that to mum and I'll also give mum, she loves monochrome designs so I think she'll like this one. Uh, it is ABC Tapestry. There it is. These are all Rosewood Manor. So there you go. That's for my mum. Isn't she lucky? Um, she's also getting a couple of needle minders that are coming from an Australian needle minder shop so they will get here by the end of the week. Um, and one of the Dove needle minders that I got last week. And I think that's all. Um, and since I was ordering from 123Stitch, I got a few things for myself. I got the Alto Gathernail. There's a set of three. There's Here Comes Treble, the Treble Clef. This is the Alto Clef. And then um, First Base. I've got First Base coming from, um, from Tammy at Colour Cascades Fabric. If she ever sends my parcel, I'll be getting First Base. Um, and Here Comes Treble was out of stock when I bought this unfortunately so in the future I'll have all three and then I can stitch them all um, I'm thinking maybe my boyfriend's mum would like this she's very mu musical and um, I'd like them too because I think they're very pretty <laughs> so there's that one I also got I'm so excited about these I've been trying to get all of these for a while now it is the singer sampler series from Silver Creek samplers that's not that's not the first one okay well I've got all four so it's Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And I will stitch them all in one long line so the words along the bottom make sense. Um, they're really cute. So I got the charts, I got the threads that I didn't already have. Um, I didn't get the fabric. God knows why I didn't get the fabric. So I've now ordered the fabric. Um, I made another order. Since it was payday last Wednesday, I made an order. <laughs> and I've got the fabric coming. I've got a few other things coming. I'll talk about that when the order gets here. Because I'm in a hurry. 
Um, I got three drawn thread charts. I love the drawn thread. I got perennial border, Ingeborg. It did come. You know, they delivered this parcel to me last Monday, which was a public holiday in Canberra. They just rang the doorbell and delivered it to me. Um, perennial border by the drawn thread. It's very beautiful. I love this. Um, the sanctuary, which I swear I had in my stash. I don't know where it went. Um, the sanctuary. This Someone on Stitch Mania was doing this uh, a month ago, maybe. I kept seeing updates. She's probably finished now. These things do stitch up quite quickly. Um, and they're so beautiful. I love this. Um, and the last one. Uh, this is part of a series. And... Um, one two three stitch only had this part, so I've asked for my birthday to get a gift certificate to another shop that I can order the rest of the parts from. It is the sampler of stitches. Um, this is ABC. There are oh, eight other parts. If you can see there, I'll be stitching it like this. And I love this. I love it. I can't wait to get all the parts and start it, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm really excited. Um, I want to talk about what's coming in my next, that's everything from this order. My next order is going to be a big one. I've finally decided on the mirror I'm actually going to do. Um, I'll just tell you, it's, it's called Red Skies at Night and it looks like this picture right here. Um, it's a mermaid in the ship and it's from the book, um, the Witch Elt. 40 years anniversary book or something um, so it's not one you can buy by itself you have to buy a book for it um, but I really like it because I like ships my dad was in the Navy my brothers were both in the Navy my mum met my dad in the Navy my sister married a Navy boy I'm the only one who's not Navy but ships are like a, a nice thing um, and mermaids so I get to stitch a mirror mermaid <laughs> and it's a lot smaller and nicer than other well not nicer it's a lot smaller and simpler that's what I meant to say a nicer sized project than the other mermaids. Did anyone see the new Nora Corbett mermaids that are coming out? Ooh, they're so pretty. Um, I won't be doing them. No. They're not my thing. I don't know. I like the very ornate ones. I like Blue Bits Princess and I love the Mill Hill Merchant Mermaid. <gasps> okay. Anyway, that's all I've got time for. And I think it's pretty much all I have anyway. Um, so I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry for the short video. Thank you. Have a great stitchy week or two weeks or whatever. Now I have my own room. It's a bit easier for me to film. So I might see you sooner rather than later. Um, okay, that's it. Bye.